Okay, uh, in this problem, an aluminium cube of uh, 12 cm side has to be cast along a cylindrical riser of height equal to its diameter. The riser is not insulated on any surface. If the volume shrinkage of aluminium during solidification is 6%, calculate first one the shrinkage volume of, volume of cube on solidification. Second one, minimum size of the riser so that it can provide the shrinkage volume. Inside bracket, the minimum volume of the riser at least three times the shrinkage volume. Okay, let's see how to solve this problem. The first part, part one asking a shrinkage volume of the cube on solidification. Shrinkage volume of the cube. So first of all, let me draw the cube. So one side is equal to uh, 12 centimeter. One side is equal to that means the volume of the cube is equal uh, 12 into 12 into uh, 12 uh, centimeter cube cm cube that is equal to 1728 centimeter cube. Okay. Similarly, we can calculate the surface area. The surface area is equal uh, 6 sides into 12 into 12. So, that is equal to 864 square centimeters. Okay. So, then in this uh, first part, is asking what is the volume shrinkage so as the data is given the volume shrinkage is uh, six percent for the aluminium so that uh, we can easily calculate the volume shrinkage the age is equal 1728 into 6% so volume shrinkage is equal to 103.68 cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters. This is how we are solving first part. Well, let's move to the second part of the problem. Second part is asking minimum size of the riser so that it can provide the shrinkage volume. Okay. Minimum size of the riser, this is the riser, this is the riser, minimum size we have to design. In a riser design, there is a, a three consideration. The riser should be able to feed enough volume to compensate the lack of uh, volume due to the shrinkage in the casting. And riser should keep motor metal until the part completely solidified. The third consideration. Rises should place closer to the casting to in order to avoid the solidification of a runner uh, from riser to casting. Okay, these are the three considerations. So in this calculation, we have to achieve the two uh, first two con consideration. Rises should be able to feed enough uh, mold emitter to compensate the lack of volume due to shrinkage in the casting. So the, as the data is given. A minimum volume of the riser at least three times the uh, shrinkage volume. Okay, so minimum volume of the riser according to the, according to the given uh, condition, the riser minimum volume minimum volume of the riser according to the given condition. condition should be equal to uh, 3 times the shrinkage volume 6 8 that is equal to 311.04 cubic uh, centimeter so that uh, according to this condition we can calculate the uh, required height and diameter for the uh, cylindrical riser okay for the cylindrical riser, its diameter is equal to height. If the if this height is h, 
this diameter also should equal to h so that uh, its volume okay this cylinder volume we can calculate uh, 5 h divided by 2 into square into h should equal to the minimum volume of the riser this uh, this is equal to 311.04 cubic uh, centimeters so then we can calculate the h value the h value is equal so h value is equal 7.34 cm 7.34 cm okay this uh, cylindrical riser should have the 7.34 cm its height and and diameter in order to give uh, three times the shrinkage volume of the casting okay so then let's move to the uh, second consideration for the second consideration riser should able to keep molten metal until the part completely solidified so according to that we are going to calculate the minimum volume for the riser total solidification time of the riser should for the minimum condition these two are equal total solidification time of the casting total solidification of the riser cm volume of the riser area of the riser into 2 should equal to same mole constant the total solidification time of the casting casting is a cubic shape the vc divided by ac into 2 so then uh, we can further simplify this equation we can further simplify this equation we can cut these values so a uh, volume of the riser divided by area of the riser should equal to volume of the casting and area of the casting we all know volume of the riser is equal to 5 h cube divided by 4 h divided by 4 area of the riser 35 h square divided by 2 should equal to volume of the cube we already calculated that value 1702 28 divided by area of the casting 864 square centimeters so here the only unknown is h we can calculate the h value so 5 h cube divided by 4 into 2 35 h square should equal to this value is equal to so then uh, you can cut this one so then the 2 here it is h h divided by 6 h divided by 6 is equal to 2 so that uh, we can calculate the h value h value is equal to 12 cm for the second consideration consider the for the second consideration the minimum value of the cylindrical riser should have the 12 cm for its uh, height and the diameter in order to uh, equalize the total solidification time with the casting so according to the first consideration we got height as 7.34 cm according to the second consideration we got h is equal to 20 cm so from these two answers we have to take the maximum one the height should be 12 cm in order to satisfy both the condition okay thank you